Hi, I'm Nick, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you some simple photo editing tips using the GIMP. Now, I'm not sure what your photographs look like, but occasionally I take photographs like this, and I immediately notice that there are all sorts of things wrong with it. For a start, I don't like this wire running right the way through the background of the clock, and also there seems to be a funny spot there. And there is another one down there, which you might not be able to make out. But it's there, and it annoys me. Okay, so the software we're going to be using is the GIMP. Now, the GIMP is open source software. It's completely free, and it runs very nicely on Windows. Uh, when you run the GIMP, it starts up showing you a tip of the day. Sometimes they're well worth reading. You can learn something. So, now the GIMP started, it, it just looks like this floating toolbar, that's because we haven't loaded the image yet. Uh, this is the image here, so I just need to drag it onto the toolbar to load. And this is your image window. Now, the first thing we shall do is get rid of that annoying spot. So, we want to get in a bit closer, so I'll use the magnifying glass here zoom in on that area and you can see it's a slightly darker area of sky I don't think it was a UFO uh, it's m most likely a bit of dust on the lens or something now fortunately GIMP has a tool specifically for this sort of thing it's called the healing tool for healing image irregularities and that looks like just such an irregularity uh, fortunately for us we can we can just use the default settings here but you could alter the brush size if you needed to now, to use the healing brush, you need to select an area of correct image, which in this case is the sky next to it, and hold down con control. There we go. And just click anywhere on the good part of the image. And that's the bit that GIMP will use as a, as a basis for the correct way that the photograph should look. So now we just have to brush over the offending part, and there you go, it's gone, it's good as new, it's amazing that tool. Now I have a mouse with a wheel on it, so as a quick way of zooming in and out I can hold down control and use the in and out of the wheel to zoom in and out on parts of the image. Um, if you don't have that then you'll just have to click or use the view menu or the magnifying glass. Now the other one was down here so I'll quickly nab that one in the same way. Now there it is. Like I say, you, it's so faint you probably can't even see it on this recording. But it's there, believe me. Right, so that's the spots taken care of. Now let's see what we can do about that wire. Now we could use the healing tool on this as well, but I don't think it would work quite so well. So we're just going to use the clone tool instead. Now the clone tool works in pretty much the same way, except in this case it doesn't pay any attention to what it's writing over, it just copies from somewhere else on the image. So if I take somewhere along the same vertical height of the image to start with, let's see why in a minute, and just brush that over there. Now the reason I chose something at the same height is because there's a slight gradient to the color of the sky you want it to match. So I'll just work my way down here ever so slowly, keeping the mouse button down all the time. If you let go of the mouse button then the start point resets itself and you might have to go back and do it again. You don't want to do that. So now I'm getting very close to the edge of the clock which causes me two problems. One is I don't want to accidentally draw over it. And the second is that the, the capture area there 
is going to start picking up bits of the clock in a minute. So I'll stop there for now <coughs> and I will zoom in that's the bit we want to get rid of. So I'm going to make a selection here with the lasso tool. And it's zoomed in this much, I can quite easily do it freehand and select the area of the image I want to edit. Now, because this area is selected, it's the only bit that will be changed. So I don't have to worry about writing over the clock underneath. And also, as I'm zoomed in a bit more, I can be a bit more careful with the with the clone tool itself, so I don't pick up the clock. So you see there, it's deleting all the bits of wire. It's leaving the clock because that's not in the selected area. Okay. Okay, let's zoom back out again, and we'll zoom in on the other bit of wire at the bottom, and we'll just do the, the same trick again. Oh, before we do that, select all, because we still have our selection active. Use the clone tool again. This time I'll work up from the bottom. You can see it's really easy and very effective. It's just like I'm deleting that out of existence. It's sort of a stain remover. Once again, when I get close, Going to use the magnifying tool again and zoom in so I can get really close to that. Okay, now you notice when I've deleted that there, it lost some of the sort of anti-aliasing effect of the of the camera. If I select all you can see. So that's not quite so pleasant. Um, how I can fix that is still using the clone tool. I'll clone a bit of the clock onto itself. Now if you're very careful doing this you can get the edges to match up. If you get it wrong don't worry just uh, go over it again. And I'm so zoomed in on this image. When I zoom out you won't notice any tiny blemishes like that. Okay, that looks a lot better now. Now there are only a couple of things that annoy me now with this picture. One is this tiny bit of tree poking up there and the second is this unidentified metallic thing going across here. It's possibly part of the original structure that the clock was on top of. Um, I won't bother trying to delete those because I think we can just crop those out of the image. Uh, here's the, the crop tool. So I'll just select that and draw a rectangle on the screen where I want to crop. I quite like to keep the cloud in. Now you can see the area that's going to be kept is, is highlighted. And even though I've uh, let go of the mouse button and it's drawn the rectangle, I can still adjust things either by dragging the sides or the corners. So just get it how you would like it. This suits me, I think. And then just double click in the middle and you're done. Okay, well that was some very simple photo editing techniques in the GIMP. If you'd like to learn more, then uh, stick with PC Answers because we'll have plenty more photo editing tutorials and other game tutorials.